Hello Bonos, welcome back to part three of the World Cup series. Uh, we are here in the pre-match view with Ireland against Costa Rica. As you know, uh, Ireland won the first game 5-0. And from the second set of games we can see Chile have defeated Qatar. Whereas Costa Rica and Qatar were uh, drew, so it bodes well. Ireland even money favourites. If you fancy having a little bet there, a little wager. Anyway, let's see the team news. Baldwin starting. Duffy in for Connor. Connor, that yellow card. They're just uh, nursing him. And again, no McShane. I don't know what's going on there. It's just, it's an enigma. Carruthers, never heard of him. Okay, let's, let's start the match. See how Ireland fair. Bamford back to Duffy, out to Horahan. Big hoof up the middle. Textbook Ireland. Kane down the flank. Gets it back to Hendrick. Hendrick shoots from distance. Blocked. Carruthers. Lays off to Grealish. Down the flank. Crosses. Cleared away again. Grealish causing havoc. Bamford poaches it in a six-yard box. Gives Ireland an early lead. Another great start. Get the split view. So danger here. Cross to the back post. Deals with it well. It's a shame it's not Connor and Gal marshalling it. Another cross. Joel Campbell. Andrade. Goal. Ireland concede their first goal of the tournament. Failed to clear their lines from the set piece and push out. I believe that's Joel Campbell. I didn't I didn't spend too much time looking at the Costa Rica team. I recognised a few of their players. Joel Campbell allowed to, too much time and space to lay it off. Ireland far too deep. You've got eight green shirts inside the six-yard box. So again, Ireland happy to concede possession. I, I, again, I don't like doing that as a manager. I like to dominate possession. But Gal and Connor, one booking each for the tournament, could be uh, in the latter stages that could really come back to haunt us. So Grealish taking the corners back. To Harry Kane gets up and off the post. Harry Kane leapt like a salmon. Oh, it was off the underside of the bar. I thought it was the post. So deep corner to the back post. Harry Kane rises. Oops, looked like it was off the post. It said, it said the crossbar down here anyway. So Ireland revert back to some counter-attacking tactic again. So I haven't seen Baldwin at all getting down these flanks. Maybe he's just doing defensive duties. So it's half time. Could be dangerous here. Christian Gambella. West Brom right back. It's Andrade. Steps inside onto his left foot. Where's he going? Blind alley. Joel Campbell's dangerous. A little black flick to Andrade. Goal. Need to man mark Joel Campbell because he's just he's running he's running things. That was a nice little build up for them. Duffy, what is he doing? Look, Duffy was the centre back there, and he was out there. It's just it's all wrong. Get Connor back now. But there are only two shots on target. Typically, both found the back of the net. I mean, you've seen how many England had in the last game. Horahan out to Borden. Come on, Bono. Plays it inside. Carruthers are good first time ball. Bamford. Kane. Goal. Don't know what this defender was doing. Playing offside. Idiom. So, so Baldwin was involved in the link up there. It was good, quick interplay. Little triangle. First time ball across. Harry Kane losing his marker. Good finish. So I'm not sure. Is that Harry Kane's fifth goal of the tournament? He's on fire. So a win here would be good and I'd then rest, literally rest everyone. But I know what the artificial intelligence like. They'll probably play Conor or Gallagher who are already on a booking and they'll needlessly miss the knockout stage. All right, Grealish plays it in. Gallagher with a header. Gallagher scores his first goal for Ireland in the World Cup. 
just beat the offside trap near post keeper left stranded well timed run look peeled off his marker hint of offside hint of offside but the linesman was well positioned that was a proud moment there the whole Gallagher family no doubt in Qatar melting in the sun watching him cheering him on can Ireland get five again five and two games Gallagher oh, he's on a hat trick can't stop this man in the air a second goal in the space of two minutes I think that said Grealish has been devastating oh again no one can get near Gallagher he just finds space better than Ivanovic in the air Connor Higgins is on Gallagher on a hat trick So Grealish wins it down the flank. Harbour, Harriman, Bamford. Oh, McAvoy. Flicks it back in. Harry Kane off the crossbar. Gal and Kane both on a hat-trick. Ireland just seeing it out. Two games, ten goals. Can't, pre can't ask much more than that. Through to the knockout phase. Probably the first team through as well because we would have been only, this group's the only group to have played both group games now. And that's a lot. Another brilliant performance. Uh, we'll check out the stats. I wasn't really looking at the player ratings that much. Grealish, four assists. I don't know how much he had in the first game, but he had a lot of assists. Vindicating the exclusion of Beasley there. McShane waiting in the wings. I don't know when he's going to play or what it will take for him to play. He's obviously slept with Mick McCarthy's daughter or spat on him or something. Something's gone awry there. Okay, good result, Bonos. Uh, we've got a few minutes, so I will uh, go have a look at Nick because I somehow omitted him when I was going through episode 14. And it's only it's only come to my knowledge now that he wasn't. We didn't check him out, so we'll have a look now. Run for all the other groups as well. So it's quite as fate would have it. Two weeks ago, if I had done Nick in episode. 14 you wouldn't have seen that that's only happened very recently because it came up on my news timeline because I follow you boys so Nick you're staying in Italy probably be annoyed about that but at the same time just happy to leave Roma but Torino are a mid-table Serie A side so you could find yourself in the same spot don't believe there's any money no money exchanged hands I'm on a what yet zero so I'm not sure about the clauses for Brentford or anything like that. We won't find out your co contractual stuff until you've officially joined. So you're joining Torino on the on the first. I could have a quick look when we get to J July because I'm assuming the teams like England and Ireland will get to the knockout stage. Well, Ireland are there, but deep into the knockout stages, England should be there, and this will have gone through by then. Um. So yeah, if I didn't look at your stats again, I apologise. So you only had. You had four starts for Roma, so not another wasted year. You couldn't, didn't leave, and they all came off the bench. You didn't play much reserve football. You had one start in a cup game on one international appearance. So your international appearances are drying up. So you did get a goal against Moldova. So you asked to leave. I think you asked that last year, but you got your wish come true. Probably just happy to take anyone. I I did look at Torino though because I I I thought I did did your profile but I didn't obviously because you commented on it. But let's have a look at Torino. See see if they're any good. I I won't recognise any of their players. I doubt. Must have signed a load of players. I know. Well, I know H Hachim Mastor. He's a brilliant kid in the game. But I'm assuming you're, it's good they play these three centre mids because you can play anywhere there. That's good if they keep the same formation. If they play narrow. But again, I'm not I'm not too sure if you're who, who you're better than there or whatnot. But just hopefully you play. But they did finish eighth in Serie A. So I mean they're not too much of a dissimilar standard to Parma and Roma. And the most you were getting there was 19 games. And so. 
That's that's that. We'll have a look at the injuries and stuff like that, just in case there was anything. 